The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Do you have your price list in Excel? Maybe you've got multiple Excel spreadsheets there with product information on it that you want to use in QuoteWorks. Or is your product information constantly changing? Uh, these could all be good reasons, combination of those could be good reasons to consider using the integration that QuoteWorks gives you to link your product data directly to an Excel or multiple Excel spreadsheets. So welcome to another QuoteWorks 101, our regular series of mini presentations giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of QuoteWorks. And in this session, I'm going to cover the Excel integration that we've got in QuoteWorks. My name is Tim Wilmot and my company, Wizard Systems, we're a specialist CRM solutions provider who help out small and mid-sized organizations improve their sales, productivity, marketing, and customer service through the use of simple and affordable solutions like QuoteWorks. Now, this presentation will be about 10 minutes or so in duration, just an overview of this product feature, not meant to be in-depth training. We offer lots of extensive training options if you want to uh, consider those with us, have a chat with us about any uh, knowledge gap that you might want to fill. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got a question, please pop that into the question box on your meeting control panel, and I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Also, at the end, I'll give you an update on any quote works product news as of early January 2021. And this call is being recorded. You will get a link, those listening live, you will get a link to the recording afterwards. You can play back that as many times you want to. And it will also feature on our YouTube channel as well. We've got loads, loads and loads of other QuoteWorks videos for you on different topics um, around the product. Okay, so let's get started. Quick mention about Wizard Systems. As I say, we're a long-standing provider of CRM solutions, including QuoteWorks. We've worked with QuoteWorks for a long time, um, well over 16 years now. And we're one of the leading providers in the world for QuoteWorks and, and related services around QuoteWorks. We not only provide the software and upgrades, um, but also we can offer implementation help, setup, uh, training as well. Obviously, this is all online right now. Um, and ongoing support as well from our friendly responsive help desk service based here in Bristol, UK. Okay, so let's get into some action then with the Excel integration. Well, let me start off first of all with a sample Excel spreadsheet. So here is a typical product file in the Excel format. Um, in row number one, we've got some column headers there typical column headers for the part number, maybe a, pro, um, a product description, maybe the manufacturer's name we get it from. Of course, um, we'll be looking for a cost price and a selling price. There could be multiple selling prices, but that is quite a long list here. There's many thousands of um, items in here. Um, how can we use that in QuoteWorks? Well, of course, in QuoteWorks, and we've covered this on a number of other 101 sessions already, you can import that into, into QuoteWorks. You'll need to save this Excel file as a CSV file, and then you can easily import that into QuoteWorks. And we've, we've covered that on many sessions before on our 101 sessions. You can uh, go up to our YouTube channel and um, take a look at that with all the ins and outs of, an, of a typical import from a CSV file. But there may be reasons why you want to and you can, with quote words, link directly to this Excel spreadsheet. So this would be very valuable um, if you've got lots of Excel spreadsheets, they're constantly changing, uh, you, or you just prefer that, that rapid way of that instant way of connecting directly from your QuoteWorks application to one or many Excel price lists. Now, the feature I'm going to show you is available in the uh, professional and corporate editions of QuoteWorks. You may be familiar that there are three different versions, three different flavors of QuoteWorks. We have standard, 
as the basic entry level version. And then in the middle, we've got professional and then top of the range is corporate. So this feature is in professional and corporate, not in standard. And you'll be, um, I think everyone here on the call, our existing QuoWorks users, of course, you'll be familiar with the built-in product files. Um, you start off with one product file, but you can create multiple um, product files as you want to. All of this data is in the QuoWorks application. But what I'm going to show you is a way of linking directly, having a live link to that Excel spreadsheet I just showed you. Very simply, you go to your products menu and then down to set up product sources here. And this will show you your existing product sources. Well, I've got a couple in there. If I click new here, this will allow me to choose what type of data I want to link to. Well, there, there can be a number. Um, we, we can link to a number of different uh, data sources. Um, if you've got those data sources already set up on your, on your system, the QuoteWorks should recognize those. But we do have also standard ones for Excel, Access, and Microsoft um, SQL Server. I'm going to use um, Excel for this little demo, so Microsoft Excel there. Click Next. Obviously, we want to now point to that Excel file. So I'll just browse to um, that file, which I've got in my resources folder here. And there's my Excel spreadsheet that we just saw. Click open. Another option, um, you normally would check this box. The first row does contain the column titles. You don't want to import those as products. Well, you could and just and just remove them if, if you did invertly do that. Um, but it'd be quite typical to, to check that box there. So click next. Now, there might be multiple tables within that Excel file. I only had one, nice and simple, but if there were multiple tabs or tables, um, then you can select those there. So we're now going into the important phase here, mapping the available fields in QuoteWorks to the source fields or columns we had in Excel. So on the right-hand side is the source file, that Excel spreadsheet, showing me the, um, the columns, that row number one, the column headers, and then some sample data there. We can click this little forward button so we can browse through that data just to see and check, do a little sort of sanity check on, on the, the, the format of that data. But we've now got to map in. It doesn't actually matter the actual column header names that you give. They don't have to match the quote works field names. They don't even have to be in the same sequence. Um, I've got a, a sort of sequence here that that um, I guess it's sort of alphabetical order, but you don't need to worry about the actual sequence of it. Well, first important field to map is always going to be the part number. So I'm going to click on SKU there. And then on the left-hand side, I've got all my available um, quote works fields. So a typical match there would be the, um, the part number to the manufacturer's part number in quote works. Brand might be mapped to maybe the manufacturer's name. That would be a, a good one to choose as well. Um, let me just shake. I did that one. Let's just map that. You can see you get a little asterisk here to check that you've actually mapped those those field combinations. Right, next is cost. So we'll go to the cost price here and map that one. And then this price column here is the selling price. So I'll just pop down to price here. Oops, price here and map that one. Um, product name would be typically the description. Let's do this one finally. There it is there. Let's just scroll down a bit. There we are. There's description and map that one. 
So I could go on, I could map the other ones, maybe category might go into maybe typically item type or something similar. And you can obviously map to your custom fields as well. Uh, next, while well, we just follow this wizard down through the process, we want to give it some kind of a name. Well, uh, let's just call it Excel for this demo. Click next. I can change some of the titles of those columns there if I want to. I can also bring in some custom menu items um, if you want to do that, but click finish. And that is it. It's now ready to be used by QuoteWorks. So if I just click close there. I've got a new quote open here. Click on products. And there's my Excel file there. I can click on show all. And that is going to show all of those product items there they all are i could also of course now start start searching for a product um, i've got no idea what lip cream is but uh, i shall quickly find that one and this will find all the products with lip cream in them so i just extend that out there there we are i've got some lip cream products there and I can now start using those to select those for my, my current quotation. So I just double click in the normal way, um, type in the number, the actual quantity there and add it to the quote. So a very easy way there of directly linking to an Excel file. If for any reason you want to remove that product association, that um, Excel association, I'll just go back to product sources there, click on the actual product reference and click remove there but a very simple way as you can see once you familiarize yourself with the format of the source excel file making sure you might need to do a little bit of data preparation making sure there's no sort of rogue rows within that excel file it's pretty well behaved i go back to my excel spreadsheet here and scroll down this is a pretty well behaved Excel spreadsheet. Um, you know, the columns have all the correct data. I can see this is all numerical fields here. Uh, and there's no rows, blank rows, for example, or rows with alternate columns. All of the columns are the same, the same format. So you might do that a little bit of a check, first of all, and go through it. So that data is not physically in QuoteWorks, okay? So it's just a, a purely a, a live link into Excel. You can still have your internal product lists. You can, you can have a combination of these live links and, and your native built-in um, product files, no problem at all. So hopefully that's been of interest to you. Um, if you've got any questions around this uh, feature, please pop that into the question box on your meeting control panel and I will do my best to answer those um, for you. Uh, yes, good morning, Matt. Um, so first question from Evelyn, I think, I think it's Evelyn. We use synchronization. I guess it won't work with that. Yes, yeah, so synchronization is where you can have different um, different installations of QuoteWorks and then use the synchronization feature of QuoteWorks to keep them all up to date. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, this is a live link, so you're right. Um, this, this would only, this would only work on the, on the, the mother, the central uh, system there. I assume that's the way you would get that set up. Uh, Will, what is the upgrade from standard to do this? Well, you just pay the difference in price. Uh, will, I will contact you and um, find out a little bit more about your implementation there. We can give you a quotation for upgrading from standard to professional or corporate. It's very straightforward. Uh, Hugh, um, what if the column width is wider than the field in quote works? Great question. I am pretty sure it's going to trunk. It's going to cut. It's going to truncate the the bit that can't fit in. If you see what I mean. So if you've got a column that's thirty characters wide, and you're 
stuffing it into a quote works field that's 20 characters i'm pretty sure you will only um you will only bring into the quote the first 20 characters you lose the 10. i'll check on it though and get back to you here it's a quite a good question um thank you matt uh sent you uh right i don't think there's any more questions so thanks very much for those just to keep update updates on late, latest news um those listening live or if you're watching this on youtube this um presentation is january 2021 um we're of course uh, going into another lockdown in the uk so all of our training is online which to be honest with you we've been doing for a long long time at wizard um, providing online training so whatever knowledge or help you want with quote works please contact any of us at wizard systems and we'll be happy to help you out with an with a, a direct online connection that we set up for you you don't need to do anything you just let us know what what you want to to do or do with us and, and we can organize everything else from there latest version of quote this hasn't actually changed from our last session before the christmas break so we're still on the latest version it's still 5.6 and build 1.04 so within these major versions uh, 5.6 we get these little miniature builds these little builds that come out um uh, through the, the through that particular version and there's there's normally a, a good handful of updates every year to get these updates, the only way of getting an update to QuoteWorks is to subscribe to the Upgrade and Maintenance Program, or UMP for short. We can provide that for you from Wizard Systems. It's a very affordable price, but it does make sure that you keep up to date on QuoteWorks. And uh, you can always have a look at what the latest QuoteWorks versions are. If you go to the QuoteWorks website and go to the support option and updates you'll get to see this and there we are there's the upgrade maintenance program explained for you uh so that's the only way of getting those updates well thanks very much uh for attending this first session in the 2021 season hopefully that's been of interest to you uh we look forward to presenting another uh quote works topic to you, a different topic to you on our next session. If you've got any suggestions for future sessions, please email those to me, um, Tim Wilmot, tim at wizard-systems.com. Thanks very much for your time, those listening or what those watching live, shall I say. There's our other contact details there. Just a reminder about our YouTube channel, Wizard Systems, where you'll see loads of other QuoteWorks videos. Be pleased to see you next time. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Thank you very much, Steve. Bye-bye.